So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. She just kind of came out of nowhere. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if they actually like put monsters down there to scare you. But uh, yeah, that shit came out of nowhere. That was like really un unexpected. Alvin's arsenal. Hey Alvin, about your weapon. You've got an eye for good steel. This is one heck of a blade. Actually, I meant the other one. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it channels fire spirits and projects their arts at foes. Yeah, something like that. That's incredible. Where'd you get it? Oh, I see how it is. You're the envious type. Stare all you want, kid. I ain't giving it up. You don't have to treat me like a child. Oh, come on. I'm just yanking your chain. God, I love the interactions between them. And, um, the... The way Jude blushed in that scene was so great. Man, I'm loving everything about this game so far. It's kind of crazy. Uh, a monster that size. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm. Lucky me. Don't worry, Alvin. The fun has just started. <laughs> oh man, I love this so much. You're gonna hear me like talk about how much I love this for quite a while. So I guess this is back where we came from. I think. Yeah. No. No, that's the right way to go. My bad. <sighs> Smart thinking, Jude, though. That was pretty great. Oh. I was trying to, like, go sideways, but I guess they don't let you do that. But I would say I didn't expect Jude to be that smart, but he is a med student. So, he's he's learned a lot throughout life. So, I can't really say that I wouldn't expect that from him. Gotcha. It's time to crush them. <laughs> Big hand. Damn! Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. I um thanks. It looked like I like oh you're so cute. <laughs> Iron stance, even successful attacks will not easily stagger boss type enemies. This resilience is known as the foe's iron stance. You may be able to break a foe's iron stance more easily with certain types of attacks. Yeah! All right. So let's head up here. Oh man, I thought the this would I thought the like the area would have ended once I beat that boss, but nope, not. not it doesn't look like it. But um, at least we like got a random random boss. That chick was wearing some skimpy ass outfit. Did you see that? Oh crap. 
That was like a crazy skimpy outfit. Whoa. I'm noticing sometimes I like go around the enemy, which is pretty great. My sword will carve a path to the future. Oh, I forgot about substats. That's not what I forgot about, but <laughs> Some material arts are affected by stats other than P attack and A attack. Okay. Uh, I forgot that I have, like, I got level up, so I should probably level people up. So, what do I want to do? Front steps and back steps over a greater distance. Oh, that's cool. Um, I should probably look at this. Ooh, increase max AC. I want to get that. So we'll aim for that next. And then I'll probably... I might go over here. Because I want to... Because this will expand the web, so... That'll be good to do. But, um... Wing guard and then assault. I may get that right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Fuck it. I want max AC to be increased. And max AC for him. And huh, what else? We can do that right now. So we can get one more thing. I guess we're doing this. So we get a larger range in the uh, the web. Sonic thrust. Nice. <clears throat> So, that's good. Skills, I know he got more skill points now, so... Go ahead and give him something. Oh, so we need to actually put on crap. <laughs> uh, um... And... Worth it. <laughs> I wish they would just automatically give them to you. Man, I was listening to that! God damn it. Stupid enemies breaking up my uh, Alvin's conversation, not my conversation. Are they gonna continue it? No. Got excited. So almost a Neakara, right up there. Um, let's see if I can just skip past the enemy now. Excuse me, sir. I really, uh, I really like the music here, but here we go. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. This is good for you, because Mila's older than you. <laughs> is there anyth anything? Oh, there's a chest back there. I gotta, I gotta go get it now. You know I can't. I can't stop myself. But, um... Music in here, like, the music in this area is really nice. Like... It's very soothing. So... And for this kind of area, it works. So, it's really nice. 
And finished. Looks like Mila's about to level up, which would be good. Hey man, let's fight so Mila will get a level up. I'll handle this. Ow! I got knocked to the ground. Oh, that was like a backflip of magic. Hell yeah. Alright, so we gotta level up for Mila. I feel like I'm just like repeating myself when stuff like this happens, so I'm sorry. The only bad thing about like doing RPGs sometimes is like you go through these dungeons and there isn't like too much to talk about for it. So that kind of sucks, you know? But I'm having fun. So like I'm I'm having fun. I hope I'm entertaining you with this flame ring. <laughs> so I hope I'm being entertaining enough. My Lilium orb is coming along nicely. She always knows exactly what to pick. How I envy that. Hey, I'm doing my best with you too, Jude. Don't worry. I got your back. But um yeah, I do hope I'm like being entertaining enough. I feel like I'm not talking and very much about stuff because like there isn't like too much to talk where i'm just walking through an area and fighting monsters and stuff so i apologize but i'm doing my best playing a game going to nia Kara. we've arrived i'm sorry she's just got some banging hips So this is Nia Kara. Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me. Where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes. I have returned. believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid, I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes, 
Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. 